Hi there friends, it's Shayla Moravich again, and I am so glad to be back and making another video for you guys. I know with COVID, COVID, it's hard to stay focused and wanting to continue to learn, so I hope by making these videos, it's getting you guys excited. So today, we're going to do an activity with time, but before we jump into that activity, we need to review how to read a clock. So we are going to read an analog clock. So what is an analog clock? Well, an analog clock is completely different than digital. It just doesn't read out the numbers for you. So what I did is I went and I grabbed my clock off of my living room wall. And then this is my analog clock that I have at home. So what we first need to realize is that there's two hands. So what I mean by two hands is these little guys. So we notice that one hand is shorter than the other. So the shorter hand shows the hour, and the longer um, hand shows the minutes of the hour. So we notice that we have different numbers. So some numbers, um, they have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. So that's <clears throat> the hour and then you notice that these little boxes are the minutes so I just went over the hours so we also can use these same numbers for the minutes so this is 5 minutes 10 minutes 15 minutes 30 minutes and notice how I'm going in increments of 5 and then we have <clears throat> 25 minutes, 30 minutes, 35 minutes, 40 minutes, 45 minutes, 50 minutes, 55 minutes, 60 minutes. So there is 60 minutes in a whole hour. So you can also, instead of going in increments of 5, you can um, say, remember how I said this is hour 1? So you can do 1 times 5 is 5 minutes. This is hour two, so you can do five times two is ten minutes. So, we also noticed that um, that there is a full hour, which I said was 60 minutes. Then there's half an hour, which is all the way down here, and that's 30 minutes. And then a quarter of an hour is 15 minutes. So you might say, it's a quarter past three so I'd be here and then you also can have may hear your parents say that it's a quarter till six so it would be the hour hand would be on six and then the 30 <clears throat> and then the longer hand would be on this number so you also have to keep in mind that there is p.m. and a.m. but this clock, the analog clock, doesn't show that, but a digital clock, digital clock does. So now that we reviewed how to look at a clock, now let's play our time matchup game. Yeah, I can't. Okay, so now we are going to play our time matchup activity. So we are going to match our digital clocks with our analog clocks. So if we look, we have four different times. So we have 6.15, 5.30, 3 and 12. So what we're going to do is we are going to start with one. So let's start with 615. And then let's look at our analog clock. So which analog clock shows 615? So this one, remember the shorthand shows the hour. This one shows three. So we know that that's not it. And then if we move to this one, we see that it doesn't point to six either. This one doesn't point to six, it points to 12. So then let's look down here. So if you look at the shorthand, it's pointing to six. Okay, okay, this might be it. So remember, we go in increments of five. So we have five, 10, 15. So we have six, 15. So we know this analog clock goes with this digital clock and we have the time of 6, 15. The next time we have is 530. So we know it's not this one, we said it's three. 
we know it's not that one because we know that that one points to 12. Both hands do. Keep that in mind. This one is 5, and then let's see if it's 30. So if we go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 5, 30. So these two clocks go together. All right, let's move on to the next one. The next time is three. And I remember from the very beginning, we said that this shorthand goes to three. And then this points at 12. So it's at the very beginning of this hour. So we don't have to go around and count the minutes. So these two clocks go together. So that means that these two clocks go together. We have both the shorthand and the minute pointing to 12. So we know that the hour is 12. And then it's the beginning of the hour, so there's zero minutes so far. So these two go together. Nice work, friends. Okay, now that we have made our four matches, let's answer some math talk questions. So for our first math talk question, it states, how did you know clock two was 530? So let's, let's look back. We knew that, <clears throat> so we were given this time, right? So what made us think that it was 530? So we looked at our shorthand and it points to 5 and we look at our longhand and it points to 6. So we can see that 6 times 5 is 30 or we can do it our old way and do count by 5s. So we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So that's how come I knew it was 5.30. Our next question states, when did you know half the hour has gone by? And how do you know that? So if you go back to the way beginning of our lesson, I told you that this was a whole hour and this was a half hour. You can also look at it that 6 is half of 12. Or the third way to look at it is there's 60 minutes in one hour, and at 6, there's only 30 minutes. So that's when you know that half the hour has gone by, when the long hand reaches 6. Okay, and for our third and final math talk question, it states what keywords or acronyms do you use to tell the difference between nighttime and daytime. So I kind of touched on this earlier, but to say daytime, you say 5.30 p.m. That means it's 5.30 at night. But if you want to say 5.30 in the morning, you have to say 5.30 a.m. And another acronym that you can know is that when someone asks you what time it is and it's 3, you would end it by saying it is 3 o'clock. So those are all good acronyms to have. So a.m., p.m., and o'clock. All right, friends, this was a super fun activity, and I hope you guys are staying safe. Remember to keep your imaginations open and your thinking caps on. Bye for now.